Hi, welcome to Hell Sidekick. In this video, we're going to be going over being an advisor, finding an advisor in groups. And so if you want to be an advisor, remember Hell Sidekick doesn't vet anybody. A lot of times these are people that might just be willing to help, or you may be a trainer and you want to start a group and be an advisor for your clients. What it allows you to do is you can go ahead and check this in your update profile page, in your edit profile. And then you can list yourself in the health sidekick directory if you want, or it's up to you if you don't want to. And then you won't be listed, so you can stay as private as you want. If you want to find an advisor, you can go click on the find advisor side. Again, this is we don't vet anybody. And you could go ahead and pick to have an advisor, and you would just simply click add or remove. First, you they have to be a friend, obviously. So I can remove as an advisor, or I can add them as an advisor. Now remember, in, in the same goes as the privacy settings. I can go ahead and make it available where only every, right now I have it so that everyone can do it, but if I wanted to be private, I could uncheck all these and I could just give a specific person to do it. So if I went back into my profile and I went to advisors and you see I, ha I currently don't have any advisors, so let's go ahead and go I already have a Chris is already my friend so I can easily add her as an advisor and now I've added her as advisor I can go to privacy settings and I can allow her to go ahead and view my measurements and so forth and I can say save changes and then in my privacy settings right here you'll see that Chris is listed so if I had none of these checked the only person that could see that would be Chris, right? And I can go ahead and click on this and then I can easily change and have her not see anything. So I can change it and now she can't see anything. I can also go back to my profile by kicking my picture, go view profile, go to advisors and there she there she is and I can go ahead and remove her as a dietary advisor if I want, but she could still be a friend. You basically can have the same functions. What's nice about that is that when you have uh, them removed and they're, let's say, they're a friend of yours and you wanted to, just like if you were an advisor, uh, you could go off and you could view if your client or friend gave you the option to view their profile. What's nice about that is that you can go and view, for example, a friend's profile and I can view, uh, for example, her plans or her logs Let's say I said, hey, you know, I'll show you my logs. You go ahead and, and we'll kind of view those things. I can easily go and look at her logs. Now, she allows me to look at her logs, but as you can see, she doesn't let me use that, look at her measurements or her goals. She lets me look at what her calories consume, but that's, that's basically it. But I can easily then go and see if she was my client or somebody I was advising, I could easily see what kind of workout she was doing, what kind of food was she was eating. If she was a friend of mine, and I wanted to go off and let's say I said, you know what, I want to eat the way she eats because I like what I, I, see is go, I see is going on with her. I'll go ahead and eat this bread nut zero. I can see what it is easily by taking a look at it and I can go ahead and log it directly or I can just log directly off it by going add to my logs. And then it will go over. Actually, if you go to my, if you go to my daily log, you'll see that this then was logged into my thing. So I can log it very easily directly off of somebody else's log if I want, if they're a friend and they give me permission to do that. That's basically the advisor, advisee roles. The group role is pretty easy. You can go to your groups. You can design a group. You can, re if you want to find a particular group to join, you can go ahead and do that as well. You can, so you can work with somebody in here. Uh, if you want to request a group, you simply click on it and you can join and then you'll be asked to go ahead and do that. Uh, to You'll be given the option to go ahead and join it. If you go to my groups, you can then go ahead, for example, and click on that group and you can share an update in that particular group. If you go to your update section, you'll also see the updates from that particular group coming into it. So for example, if I went to my groups and I went to Think Health Pray and I said, here's an update and I said this is one of my groups I posted then when I go to my update section you'll see that this actually came from this particular group 
I can click on it to get back to just to those particular uh, group updates if I wanted to. That's basically it with the uh, groups and becoming an advisor. Hopefully that helps.